ਮੈਂ ਮੂਰਖ ਕੀ ਕੇਤਕ ਬਹੁਤ ਹੈ ਓਟ ਪਰਾਦੀ ਤਰਿਆਰੇ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਜਿਨ ਸੁਨਿਆ ਪੇਖਿਆ ਤੇ ਫਿਰ ਗਰਭਾਸ ਨ ਪਰਿਆਰੇ ਕਹਾ ਬੁੱਧ ਪ੍ਰਭ ਤੁਚ ਹਮਾਰੀ ਬਰਨ ਸਕੈ ਮਹਿਮਾ ਜੋ ਤਿਹਾਰੀ ਹਮ ਨ ਸਕਤ ਕਰ ਸਿਫਤ ਤੁਮਾਰੀ ਆਪ ਲਿਹੋ ਤੁਮ ਕਥਾ ਸੁਧਾਰੀ ਮੂਕ ਉਚੜੇ ਸਾਸਤਰ ਖਟ ਪਿੰਗ ਗਿਰਨ ਚੜ ਜਾਏ ਅੰਧ ਲਖੈ ਬਦਰੋ ਸੁਨੈ ਜੋ ਕਾਲ ਕਿਰਪਾ ਕਰਾਏ ਅੰਧ ਲਖੈ ਬਦਰੋ ਸੁਨੈ ਜੋ ਕਾਲ ਕਿਰਪਾ ਕਰਾਏ ਸਤਨਾਮ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਸਲੋਕ ਔਰ ਤਾਰੈ ਜੋ ਅੰਤਰ ਨਾਮ ਸਰਮ ਮੈਂ ਪੀਖੈ ਭਗਵਾਨ ਨਿਮਖ ਨਿਮਖ ਠਾਕੁਰ ਨਮਸਕਾਰੈ ਨਾਨਕ ਓਹ ਅਪਰਸ ਸਗਲ ਨਿਸਤਾਰੈ ਔਰ ਤਾਰੈ ਜੋ ਅੰਤਰ ਨਾਮ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਸਤਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਸਾਜੀ ਨਿਵਾਜੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਰੂਪ ਗੁਰੂ ਪਿਆਰੀ ਸਾਧ ਸੰਗਤ ਜੀ ਆਪ ਜੀ ਬਹੁਤ ਵੱਡਾ ਭਾਗੀ ਹੋ ਸੋ ਬ੍ਰੈਸ ਜਰਨ ਕੋਟ ਔਰ ਸਿਟੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਗਾਂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਜੀ ਸੁਨ ਹਰ ਕਥਾ ਉਤਾਰੀ ਮੈਲ ਮਹਾਪਨੀਤ ਭੈ ਸੁਖ ਸੈਲ ਵੱਡੇ ਭਾਗ ਪਾਇਆ ਸਾਧ ਸੰਗ ਪਾਰ ਬ੍ਰਹਮ ਸਿਉ ਲਾਗੋ ਰੰਗ ਜਰਨ ਕੋਟ ਔਰ ਗੁਰੂ ਗਾਂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਜੀ ਮੈਂ ਗੁਰੂ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਜੀ ਪੰਜਵੇਂ ਪਾਸ਼ ਜੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਅਰਜਨ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ ਮਾਜੀ ਠਾਉ ਜਸ ਕੇ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਜੀ ਦੀ ਕਥਾ ਸੁਣ ਕੇ ਦਿਸ ਇਨ ਕਥਾ ਔਰ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਥਾ ਔਰ ਗੁਰੂ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਜੀ ਬਾਣੀ ਔਰ ਤਾਰੀ ਮੈਲ ਆਲ ਆਵ ਆਰ ਪੇਨਸ ਔਰ ਦ ਮੈਲ ਔਰ ਦ ਡਰਟ ਇਨ ਸਾਈਡ ਆਫ ਇਸ ਇਜ਼ ਵਾਸ਼ਡ ਅਵੇ ਜਸਟ ਬਾਈ ਲਿਸਨ ਟੂ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਕਥਾ ਬਿਕਾਜ਼ ਵੀ ਲਿਸਨ ਟੂ ਕਥਾ ਦ ਗੁਰੂਜ਼ ਡਿਸਕੋਰਸ ਦ ਗੁਰੂਜ਼ ਬਾਣੀ ਦ ਡਿਸਕੋਰਸ ਆਫ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਬਾਣੀ ਦੈਨ ਵੀ ਸਟਾਰਟ ਟੂ ਲਿਸਨ ਟੂ ਦ ਟੀਚਿੰਗਸ ਵਿਚ ਵੀ ਕਾਲ ਸਰਵਨ ਟੂ ਲਿਸਨ ਫਿਰ ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਮੰਨਨ ਟੂ ਐਕਸੈਪਟ ਦ ਗੁਰੂਜ਼ ਟੀਚਿੰਗਸ ਤੇ ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਫਿਰ ਅਭਿਆਸ ਨਿਦਿਆਸਨ ਟੂ ਅਪਲਾਈ ਦਮ ਇਨ ਟੂ ਆਰ ਲਾਈਫਸ ਐਂਡ ਬਾਈ ਡੂਇੰਗ ਦਾ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਏਬਲ ਟੂ ਪਿਓਰਫਾਈ ਆਵਰ ਓਨ ਮਾਈਂਡ ਆਵਰ ਮਾਈਂਡ ਵਾਸ ਮੇਡ ਅਪ ਆਫ ਫ੍ਰੀ ਥਿੰਗਸ ਇਟਸ ਮੇਡ ਅਪ ਆਫ ਮਲ ਵਿਕਸ਼ੇਪਤਾ ਅਤੇ ਅਵਰਨ ਥੀਸ ਆਰ ਦ ਫ੍ਰੀ ਥਿੰਗਸ ਆਵਰ ਮਾਈਂਡ ਇਜ਼ ਮੇਡ ਅਪ ਆਫ ਇਟਸ ਮੇਡ ਅਪ ਆਫ ਮਲ ਵਿਚ ਇਜ਼ ਮੈਲ ਫਿਰ ਵਿਕਸ਼ੇਪ ਦਾ ਮਤਲਬ ਹੈ ਚੰਚਲਤਾ ਦ ਮਾਈਂਡ ਇਜ਼ ਵੈਰੀ ਚੰਚਲ ਦ ਮਾਈਂਡ ਡਸ ਨਾਟ ਸਿਟ ਸਟਿਲ ਐਨ ਅਵਰਨ ਜੋ ਅਗਿਆਨ ਦਾ ਪਰਦਾ ਹੈ ਅਗਿਆਨਤਾ ਇਗਨੋਰੈਂਸ our mind is made up of these three things first thing that is very dirty very mala because of all the pop all the sins that you committed and because of that the mind is very chanchal it does not sit still so the first thing that we need to do is come to the guru's core and to purify the mind through naam oh to pe na ve ke rang naam rahi jo sada man hai sa sang ji man rupi panda hai oh shuddh ho janda hai the mind becomes pure through naam through reciting guru's name by doing seva by doing sad sangat the mind becomes pure when the mind becomes pure when that panda that dish becomes pure then naam is able to sit inside there the guru's name before that we're cleaning the mind with the naam then the mind becomes pure and then gyan can sit there the guru's gyan the guru's prakash the guru's light then we're able to witness the guru but until then we have to keep pure find the mind the mind becomes more still and still and then the avarnan the the avarn the agyan da parda the ignorance the veil of ignorance is removed from our mind and then we can see the guru sitting there and through this bani of siri sukhmuni sahib we learn about such great gurumukhs we learn about such great saints that we call brahmanis somebody who's recognized by guru is become one by guru ji we learn about their qualities just like in the last katha guru sahib told us ke brahmanani sarv katani the brahmanani is sarv katani sare the malak they are the master of everyone they have conquered their own mind and they can conquer they can help us conquer our mind as well brahm gyani aap nirankar they are themselves are the form of vaikuru ji they become one with vaikuru ji unan de vich ate vaikuru ji de vich koi bhed nahi hai there is no difference in them and vaikuru ji so sri guru arjan dev ji maharaj ji in his bani sri sukhmuni sahib when they uchar this bani at sri ram sar sahib sitting under a bury the rakta in a tree even at that time many guru sikhs would come and ask guru arjan dev
a parasa. So what does this mean? Paras means to touch. A paras means not to touch, very simply. It's saying, hey, who is that true being who is not polluted? So we, every single day, we indulge, we touch Maya, we indulge in Maya. But the saint is beyond that. We've got this dog, this stain of Maya. But they are beyond, they're not stained by this Maya, they're not polluted by this Maya. Just like how Bhagat Kabiji says to his Kabira, Sakata Sangana Kijiye, Durhe Jaye Pag. Basana Karo Parsiye, Toka Chalage, Dog. Bhagat Kabiji is saying to us that don't do Ko Sangata, Ko Sangata Pave, Paddy Sangata, Mari Sangata, Nikarni Hai. They say, don't do Sangat of those negative people because if you do, just like if you walk into a room filled with soot, and that soot is going to go into that dog, is going to go into Toka Chalage, dog, we'll get stained. And every single day when our mind goes into negative thoughts and we think evil of other people, we think of calm, Lord, 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 God. Our mind becomes polluted as well. But there are such beings in this world who do not become polluted. They stay pure and they are the purest of the pure. Nidamalte Nidamala comes in the city Sukhuna says, well, the purest of the pure. So who are those beings? Who are those saints that are the purest of the pure? Tell us about them. The one of the Lachanvi Vardanakaro Satya Pashi explain their qualities to us as well, their characteristics. So Siddhi Guru Arjun Deji Maji, hearing this Bhenti from the Guru Siksa, they give the answer themselves and that answer is in this slok and the next Ashtapati that comes up. So let's focus our minds on the Charan of Tan Siddhi Guru Arjun Deji Maharaji Satche Pasha Ji So Sari Sangat Akho Satnam Sri Vahe Guru Sahib Ji Purtara Jo Antar Naam So Siddhi Guru Arjun Deji Maharaji in this ninth slok says to us Purtara or he means hirde. So jera hirde under Sad Sangat ji, Hari Parameshir Vai Guru ji de naam tarda karda hai os ji. That person themselves who enshrines God's name inside their heart, han ji. Sarb ma bekha Bhagavan. This Sad in the vichya, Vai Guru ji, Satche Paach ji nu dekhda hai. That one who sees Vai Guru ji and everybody else. So they've got God inside their heart, or tarde, up in a hirde vichya, they have enshrined God, and then they see God in everybody else as well, Hanji. Nimak, Nimak, Thakur, Namaskara. Nimak, Nimak, Pave, Har Vakta, Har Vele, Vahe Guru Ji, Prabhu Parameshwar, Vahe Guru Ji Nu, Bandana, Namaskar Karda Hai, the one who always does Namaskar, the one who always does salutation, the one who always bows to Vahe Guru Ji, with inside their heart of physically Nimak, Nimak, all the time, whether their eyes are open, whether their eyes are closed, whether they're awake, whether they're asleep, they always do Namaskar to Prabhu Parameshwar Vai Guru Ji Han Ji. Nanak Ohu Aparasa Sagal Nisatara. Tan Siddhi Guru Arjan De Ji Maharaj Ji Kathan Karde Han. Our fifth Guru tells us Ohu Aparasa. That being themselves, they are the purest of the pure. Ohu Aparasa means Na Shohan Wala. So that means somebody who is not touched by this one thing. What is that? Maya. They say Maya Ki Padartha. Nu na shohan wala mahatma. That person themselves who is not affected by Maiki Badaratha means the different things of the world, the different items of the world, Badaratha, the different gifts that are given to us in the world. That one who is not attached but to them, who does not become affected by them, Guru Arjan Deji Maharaj says that that person themselves is so pure, is Sagala Nisatare, that by doing their Sangata, one of these Sangat Karke, Asivi Tara Jandehan, we ourselves, Tara Jandeha, we, carry, we are carried across this ocean as well by doing their Sangat, the Sagala Nisatare. Sagala means everyone, Nisatare means to be Mukta, to be liberated, to be carried across by doing their Sangat. So Guru Arjan Deji Maharaj Hon Agge, they themselves going forward in this next Chad Paudya that we're going to go through today, will tell us about the Lachan, the characteristics. Of the Aparas Purush, that one who themselves is not Shohan of Allah, the one who is not touched, who is not affected by Maya, who is not affected by these different temptations or even pains of the world because of the things that we become attached to, they give us pain in the end anyway. This whole sansad is a, is a whole platform of Dukkh. So much pain. Until we become one with the Guru, until we understand this kid, we become so caught in the play, kid means play here, that we just live in Dukkh all the time. So Guru Sahib Ji Agge Sanu, 
ਅਪਾਰਸ਼ ਤੇ ਦਾ ਪਰਸਨਸ ਅਪਾਰਸ਼ ਹਮ ਸਾਉਸ ਉਹਨ ਦੇ ਲੱਛਣ ਵਰਣਨ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਨ ਹਾਂ ਜੀ ਅਸਟਪਦੀ ਮਿਥਿਆ ਨਾਹੀ ਰਸਨਾ ਪਰਸ ਸੋ ਦੇ ਟੈਲਸ ਦੇ ਕੁਆਲਿਟੀਸ ਐਂਡ ਦਾ ਫਰਸਟ ਕੁਆਲਿਟੀ ਇਜ਼ ਮਿਥਿਆ ਮਿਥਿਆ ਹੀ ਮੀਨਸ ਝੂਠੇ ਝੂਠੇ ਬਚਨਾ ਦਾ ਫਾਲਸ ਵਰਡਸ ਸੋ ਫੋਰ ਸਮ ਰੀਜ਼ਨ ਵੀ ਆਲ ਲਾਈ ਮੈਨੀ ਟਾਈਮਸ ਵੀ ਡੋਨਟ ਟੈਲ ਦਾ ਕੰਪਲੀਟ ਟਰੂਥ ਈਵਨ ਇਫ ਸਮ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਐਨ ਆਊਟਵਾਈਟ ਟੈਲ ਅ ਲਾਈ ਦੇ ਵਿਲ ਸੇ ਸਮਥਿੰਗ ਇਨ ਸਚ ਅ ਵੇ ਵੇ ਇਟ ਡਜ਼ਨਟ ਡੂ ਦੇਅਰ ਓਨ ਬੇਸਲੀ ਬਟ ਕੀਪਸ ਦੇ ਦੇ ਕੀਪਸ ਦੇ ਲਾਰਜ ਵਾਈ ਕੀਪਸ ਦੇ ਓਨਰ ਬਟ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਹੀ ਸੇਇੰਗ ਮਿਥਿਆ ਨਾਹੀ ਰਸਨਾ ਪਰਸ ਪਾਵੇ ਝੂਠੇ ਬਚਨਾ ਨਾਲ ਦਾ ਦੋਸ ਝੂਠੇ ਬਚਨਾ ਸਾ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਬਾਨੂ ਓਨ ਦੇ ਓਨ ਠੰਗ ਸ਼ੋਹਰ ਨਾ ਦਿੰਦੇ ਹੋਵੇ ਦੇ ਡੋਨਟ ਲੈਟ ਥੀਸ ਥਿੰਗਸ ਟਚ ਦੇਅਰ ਠੰਗ ਦੇ ਡੂ ਨਾਟ ਲੈਟ ਝੂਠੇ ਬਚਨ ਫਾਲਸ ਲਾਈਸ ਟਚ ਦੇਅਰ ਠੰਗ ਟਚ ਦੇਅਰ ਠੰਗ ਸਾ ਸਿੰਘ ਦਾ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਟਰੂ ਸੇਂਟ ਦਾ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਟਰੂ ਪਰਸਨ ਹੂ ਕਮਸ ਅਪਾਰਸ ਹੂ ਇਜ਼ ਨਾਟ ਅਫੈਕਟਿਡ ਬਾਈ ਥੀਸ ਥਿੰਗਸ ਦੇ ਡੂ ਨਾਟ ਲੈਟ ਫਾਲਸਹੂਡ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਝੂਠ ਫਾਲਸਨਸ ਟਚ ਦੇ ਜੀ ਭਾਨ ਜੀ ਮਨ ਮਹਿ ਪ੍ਰੀਤ ਨਿਰੰਜਨ ਤਰਸ ਤੇ ਮਨ ਮਹਿ ਮੀਜ਼ ਮਨ ਵਿਚ ਵਿਦਿਨ ਦੇ ਓਨ ਮਾਈਂਡ ਮਨ ਵਿਚ ਸਾ ਸੰਗ ਜੀ ਪ੍ਰਭੂ ਪਰਮੇਸ਼ਰ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਦੇ ਦਰਸ਼ਨ ਦੀ ਦਾਰਾ ਦੀ ਪ੍ਰੀਤੀ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਨ ਦੇ ਹਾਵ ਦਿਸ ਪ੍ਰੀਤੀ ਦਿਸ ਲਵ ਫਾਰ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਦੇ ਦਰਸ਼ਨ ਤੇ ਉਹ ਇਜ਼ ਵਨ ਹਾਵ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਦੇ ਦਰਸ਼ਨ ਸਾਇਦ ਹਾ ਦਰਸ਼ਨੀ ਦਾਰ ਟੂ ਸੀ ਦਾ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਿਰੰਜਨ ਨਿਰੰਜਨ ਹੈ ਮੀਨਸ ਗੋਡ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਤੇ ਮੀਨਸ ਮਾਇਆ ਤੋਂ ਰਹਿ ਨਿਰ ਅੰਜਨ ਮਾਇਆ ਤੋਂ ਰਹਿ ਉਸ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਦੇ ਦਰਸ਼ਨ ਦੀ ਪ੍ਰੀਤੀ ਕਰੇ ਤੇ ਉਹ ਇਜ਼ ਦਿਸ ਪ੍ਰੀਤੀ ਦਿਸ ਲਵ ਟੂ ਹੈਵ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਦਰਸ਼ਨ ਆਲ ਦਾ ਟਾਈਮ ਦਾ ਇਜ਼ ਸਚ ਅ ਬੀਇੰਗ ਓਨ ਦੇ ਟੰਗ ਦੇ ਨੈਵਰ ਸਪੀਕ ਐਨੀ ਲਾਈਸ ਦੇ ਡੋਨਟ ਡੂ ਨਿੰਦਿਆ ਚੁਗਲੀਆ ਦੇ ਡੋਨਟ ਸਪੀਕ ਕੋਰੇ ਬਚਨ ਹਾਰਸ਼ ਵਰਡਸ ਔਰ ਬੈਡ ਵਰਡਸ ਬਟ ਆਲ ਦਾ ਟਾਈਮ ਸਾਸ ਥਿੰਗ ਜੀ ਹੈ ਦੇ ਹੈਵ ਦਿਸ ਇਨਸਾਈਡ ਦੇ ਹਾਰਟ ਇਨਸਾਈਡ ਦੇ ਮਾਈਂਡ ਕਿ ਆਈ ਵਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਸੀ ਵਾਈ ਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਆਈ ਵਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਹੈਵ ਦੈਟ ਦਰਸ਼ਨ ਹਾਂ ਜੀ ਪਰਤ੍ਰਯ ਰੂਪ ਨਾ ਏਕ ਹੈ ਨੇਤਰ ਫਿਰ ਪਰਤ੍ਰਯ ਪਰ ਹੈ ਮੀਨਸ ਪਰਾਈ ਤੇ ਤ੍ਰਿਆ ਮੀਨਸ ਇਸਤਰੀ ਪਰਾਈ ਇਸਤਰੀ ਦੇ ਸਰੂਪ ਟੂ ਸੀ ਅਨਦਰ ਪਰਸਨ ਇਸਤਰੀ ਹੈ ਮੀਨਸ ਫੀਮੇਲ ਸਮਰੀ ਆਸ ਇਜ਼ ਵਾਈਫ ਔਰ ਵੂਮਨ ਸੋ ਪਰਤ੍ਰਯ ਰੂਪ ਪਰਾਈ ਇਸਤਰੀ ਦੇ ਰੂਪ ਨੂੰ ਵਿਸ਼ੇ ਦੀ ਅੱਖਾਂ ਨਾਲ ਵਿਸ਼ੇ ਦੀ ਅੱਖਾਂ ਨਾਲ ਨਹੀਂ ਦੇਖਦਾ ਹੈ ਯੂ ਡੋਨਟ ਲੁੱਕ ਦਾ ਅਵਰ ਪਰਸਨਸ ਵਾਈਫ the other person's partner with the eyes of vishe vikar vishe he means like desires negative thoughts dekh paraya changiya maava pehna piya jane bhai gurudas she says to us hey when you see somebody else who is not your own wife your own partner how should you see them dekh paraya changiya seedha par istri as your maava pehna aur piya as your maava your daughter or your sister nothing else same for the bibi as well see somebody else as their father brother or son unless they marry that person then that's their husband but the point is that guru sabhi saint to sab par tere roop na pek hai netra pek hai netra pek hai means to see netra means akha with our eyes not to see them with these eyes of vishe vikar with calm krodh lo mohankar in anu tyag karke sach mai vinas in those things not to see them in such a way and such a being such a ma purush such a gursik has such lots and such qualities inside them where they only look at them with prem or as their own mother sister or daughter and this is their own partner han ji sad ki tahal sant sang het mere shresh jana di sangat karke doing the sangat of those great saints sad ki tahal tell the arth hai seva to do seva of those great saints sad ki tahal sant sang het sant adi sangat karke doing seva of the sad sangat and then hate the earth hai prem prem karna to have love for the sad sangat as well that is what you're going to these are the qualities of a true saint they have love for the sad sangat and they always serve the sad sangat just look at our gurus all of our guru sahiban from guru nanak ji maharaj ji all the way up to sri guru gobind singh ji maharaj ji they all did seva all of our gurus did hathi seva where with us guru nanak ji maharaj ji serving the sadhu sangat where us pai lena ji serving guru nanak ji maharaj
the guru amar das shri maharaj gives his bachan to pai ram manji the pai ram das shri who becomes guru ram das shri maharaj and they both start to build this takat and when it's built they're both very good perfect tip top but guru amar das shri says it's not good break it down and build it again so the second time they start to build it again guru ram das shri says sachi paasha ji sat bachan ji that true is your command and pai ram ji says the same thing but there's a bit of confusion in his mind he's thinking that but the guru is telling me to build again but it was perfect the first time so duji vadi says thing to build it again and this time guru amar das ji says the same thing that it's not right build it again and pai ram ji starts to question guru amar das ji maharaj ji but they listen to the guru and they do it for the second time it did you are pai ram ji refuses to build it again the third time they say ke he maharaj ji that there's nothing wrong with this platform and they even go to the lengths of saying ke maharaj ji that now you're getting older guru amar das ji was in the late 90s or some may say in their hundreds the guru amar das ji being at such an age pai ram ji say maharaj ji maybe now because you're older you're losing your memory of your thought process is starting to go uh, and so they were doubting the guru but guru ram das ji maharaj on the other side started to cry and the reason why guru ram das ji maharaj started crying is because they're saying to guru amar das ji maharaj ji ke Maharaj ji you're so the alu ke pal you're so compassionate you're so forgiving that I've made a mistake three times and you give me three chances so it was a drishti the way they looked at it was very different by rama ji was thinking to himself that I've done nothing wrong and the guru keeps making me build this again but guru ramdas ji was thinking that I've made so many mistakes and the guru keeps on forgiving me the diff way of looking at it and here the guru is saying to us ke guru arjan dev ji maharaj who is the son of guru ramdas ji ke saad ki tahal sant sang het to always serve the sadhu sans to always serve with no ego and this is their state this isn't my state this is the state of those gurumukhs that guru arjan dev ji maharaj is talking about that if we do their sangat then maybe we could become like them as well one day that is the aim right the aim is to become like them and the only way to become like them is by associating with those people just like if you associate with somebody who's successful you're very likely to become successful as well if you associate with somebody who's very saintly then you're going to take upon those saintly qualities as well the so guru sir says that that prem comes inside that gurumukh as well han ji karan na suna kahu ki ninda so guru arjan dev ji maharaj ji continues and says karan na sune karan means kanna kanna nal sa sang ji that person hor kise di nindya ni sunda hai they don't listen to somebody else's nindya let alone doing nindya themselves with their own jeeb they don't listen to somebody else's nindya with their own ears look at this avastha this high avastha this high spiritual level saying karna sune kahu ki ninda nobody else is nindya they don't listen to with their own ears why kyunki han ji sab te jaane aap sukau manda kyunki saas singh ji guru arjan dev ji says us ke that person that that mahatma that gurmukh that guru sikh sare to apne aap nu bhaira janda hai they see themselves as the lowest of the low they see themselves as the worst of the worst sab te jaane aap is aap is ko manda manda means bad evil they see themselves as the worst of the worst so when they hang somebody else's nindya they thinking what why are you slandering them for what about me i'm the worst of the worst that's look at the humility in such a being such a saint then sab te jaane aap is ko manda they see themselves as the lowest of the low mande jaane aap ko karo mande jaane aap ko avad pala sansar guru nan de ji sai so uske mande jaane aap ko that person sees themselves as the lowest of the low avad pala sansar and they see the whole world as good because they realize that actually inside of me there's so much mal there's so much dirt inside of me that what is the point of me judging somebody else so nanak par ke aap ko to par ke jaan rog daru doge bujhe ta vaid sujan guru angad dev ji maharaj ji de bachan de the words of our second guru they say nanak par ke aap ko they say if you're going to judge somebody judge yourself that's what the second guru says so that is a true judge ta par ke jaan judge he par ke means to test to judge rog daru do ve buj if somebody starts to look at their own actions they realize their own illness rog disease daru daru he means the why medicine they realize their own problem and they realize a the solution to the problem but our problem right now is that we're too busy folks on our people's problems that we don't think of our own problems ta vaid the sojan vaid means a physician very simply you can say like a doctor you can give yourself the own medicine you can treat yourself if you focus on yourself the guru is saying to us sir So Guru Maharaj ji sent us aapas ko manda 
they see themselves at the lowest of the low and they don't look at anybody else. I was listening to Katha this week as well and the Guru Mukhjan was saying that many times we say to Guru Gan Sahib Maharaj Ji, Maharaj Ji, you know, Sanu Malap Baksho, Sanjog Baksho, Aap Ji Denam, let us reunite with you, let us become one with you. And it's such a crazy play because what the Guru Sikh was saying, the, the saint, was that when we ask Vaigaji for Malap, for that union, sometimes what Vaigaji does to many of us is that they they make us fall more asleep. It's like they give us more duk. We are we get more engrossed in the mind. And what's the reason for that? Because then we realize actually how what is our actual state. The Guru lets us know where you are actually. Because you may think we're not that far, you know I'm alright, I'm I'm nearly there, right? It's a few more japji size and I'll probably get mukti, right? I don't know, right? A few more years and I'll be there. But the Guru makes us realize that actually, you know what? They, there's so much to do, there's so much work to do. So we have Taram Khand, which is the first spiritual stay in Japji side apart. You can read it there, Taram Khand ke eho Taram, fir Taram Khand to bar Gyan Khand. Taram Khand which asi Taram Tar, they will take upon a Taram, a way of living. Rehat, Rehni, Behni, Kehni, all these things, how we live our lives. Fir us to baad, when we start to do that, the Guru gives us Gyan. Ke how, what, where are you truly in your path? Where are you on this path of Sikhi? Then, when we realize that actually, Aapasko Manda, that I am Ham Papi, Kumbakshanahar, that actually I'm, a biggest, I'm the biggest Papi ever, then we get Gyana that, then we get to Saram Khand. The Saram the Arth has Sharam, Ek Arth Asi Karasak. The Sharam, Sharam means to have shame. Then I am nobody. How am I ever going to meet God? It's not even possible. Then from Sharam, Saram Khand ki Bani Rupa, we get Nimrata. We wear as Akshiyam nobody. Phir us to baad karam, karam da arth hai kirpa. Through humility, true blessings come. Then Sach Khand. Then we go home to Sach Ipacha Ji. So Guru Sahib Ji here is saying to us, okay, that through this, through understanding this, we start to wake up. So we fall into a deeper sleep. We realize actually we've got such a long way to go. But the reason for that is because then we realize we have to change. We have to make a difference now. We have to put in the effort. So it's as if they give us more duk, but the duk was a present. That this duk they're giving to us was a gift to us to realize actually you're going to have to change now. You're going to have to make a di big difference in your life. Then you'll feel that sok sroop. Then you'll meet that one. But it's a, it's a difficult path to walk. But the Guru walks the path of us and they give us these Guru Mukhjans to guide us along the path of Zalhanji. Guru Prasad Bikhiya Parahara. Guru Prasad. Guru on the Kirpa Rahi for the Guru's Kirpa. Guru on the Kirpa now with the Guru's blessings. Bikhiya Parahara. Bikhiya he means all those Bikhiya, you could say Bik poison, Vishivikar, the Panj Jor, Kankro, Lo Mahankar. That always attack us. Panchasatave, Dutta, Kavana Bidamarne. They're always attacking us all the time. So they are always taunting us, sir. They're saying, Guru Parasad Bikya Parahare. Parahare means to be taken away. Dur ho jandine. They're all taken away through the Guru's kirpa. Through the Guru's blessing. So that's why we come to Guru Gan Sahib Maharaj. Where do we get Guru Parasad? In the Guru Sharan. Sache Paash is Sharan which aake, Feda, Guru Parasad, Prabhat Hundi. Then the Guru's Parasad happens. The Guru's Kirpa happens, Hanji. Man ki basana, man te tara. And then man ki basana, man ki means within the mind, all these vikar, vikar means all the passions that we have, the, the attachment, which can be so painful when we become attached to somebody or to something, or the lust that goes through our mind, that attacks so many people in today's world. It's all around us. You watch, we said this a few months ago, you watch a movie today, it's a 12, and even in a 12, it's like, how can a 12 year watch this? When I was 12, year old, 12 years old, I never watched anything like this. Right? Calm is everywhere on the social media. You don't even follow this stuff and it comes up on your feed. Right? You see the stuff they post now, the people that are whistleblowers and how all these social media accounts, they just gave people social media platforms, just gave people duk and depression, but it's all about money. Right? But what do we do? We stay on these platforms when there's no need to be on these platforms. You know this whole body that we're going through right now, it's so relevant today to, to today because 
Guru Sahib is talking to us about those people who've reached such a state where they're not affected by these things. But Asal Singha Ji, today we are affected by these things. When it comes to things like Nindya, you look online, you look at how much people slander each other, it's disgusting. Then you look at Parthere Roop, you look at the, the body of somebody else, whether that's a male or female. You look online today and the amount of interaction we have between the other gender. They, we've said this many times, we're not here to be some strict Sikhs that are like Qatar or something like that. But the point here is that what is very clear to us from the start till today is that unless we're not married or we're not going to get married, there's no need to go that far and speak to the other gender. If they're your own cousin or something like that, your sister, it's fine. But we see today people who have a roop just like mine. So again, I'm not speaking, I'm speaking to everyone, but especially those who take upon Guru Gobind Singh's Amrit and they have such a roop like this and they're speaking to Bibbia on social media. Right? There's no need to do that unless you're going to get married to that person or you're looking to get married to them and the families are involved. There's no need to do that stuff. Right? There's no need to speak to the other gender. What is the, what is the purpose of that? Right? Because what does it lead to? Attachment and it leads to falling in love with the person. Then you want to marry the person, but then that causes a lot of pange as well. But the point here is that we don't need to do that stuff. Right? You got enough Sangit, you come to the Guru God, and it's just avoided. It's always been avoided. Even in the worst places in Sal Sangh, people go to Sikhi camps to look for a partner. To look for a partner, do Sal Sangh, and then speak to a Guru can say that I want to get married. I understand in today's world it's very difficult. It's not easy to find partners in today's world. In today's world, it's very hard. But the point is that things like Snapchat where people are snapchatting each other. And I hear all these crazy stories today and I think to myself, Haid Abba, now I understand what Guru Gobind Singh wrote there, Barney, warning us about things we should stay away from. But today we've got Bibbia, snapchatting sings and sings, snapchatting Bibbia, their own pictures of each other and all this other crazy stuff, Instagram. So I'm, whatever, Twitter, Facebook, I don't really use this stuff, but it's crazy. And what does it lead to in the future? It leads to so many negative things and look at the rates of divorce now. Even in Gurmukhs, you hear about Gurmukhs today, Amartadis who are getting divorces and all this crazy stuff and what's going on in the world and it's because we didn't listen in the first place to our Guru. And they wonder afterwards why we get duk. Why are we doing such things? The Guru told us from the start, you don't need to do this. The Guru six tell us, look, you don't need to speak to, you don't need to speak more than you need to. Of course, if you've got to speak to someone, if it's important and you speak to them, but it's about what's the barrier? What's the boundaries here? Right? And that's something we don't know today because we become so enticed you see that in school. I've, I've been through in school. Right? I wasn't always into Sikhi. I'm not saying I'm perfect by any means, but in school when you have a crush on the other gender and then you start MSNing them, all that kind of stuff back in those days, right? I'm sure we remember that stuff. But, it's, but if you walk this path, then it's a path of renouncing certain things for our own good. The Guru is not trying to make you dookie and say you can't speak to certain people. It's for your own good, the Guru is saying. Right? It's to protect our honor and it's to protect her honor as well, right? Because we can't deny the fact that Punjabi mentality plays a big role in Sikhi. When I mean that, I'm not saying that Sikhi is the Punjabi mentality, but people, when you associate, when you talk about Sikhi, Punjabi mentality comes in for some reason. Hika, we can't avoid it. It's just what it is. So if for one reason, in today's world, if you like it or not, if a Sikh does something bad, he probably gets away with it. Hika, if a Bibi does something bad, she doesn't get away with it. I'm not saying it's right, it should be equal, but that is the Punjabi mentality. So single, for you guys, if you're talking to a Bibi and you don't need to be talking to her, you're going to end up making it difficult for her in the future to get married. Right? And this happens a lot today. Right? And on the other side, same for the Bibi as well. Remember, when you're the daughters of Guru Gobind Singh Ji, you're the sons of Guru Gobind Singh Ji. So, take these bachan upon, even for myself as well, that don't look at the other gender in a lustful way, also, you don't need to get into those conversations if you don't need to. Avoid it. Do Saad Sangat. You see yourself, if you, if you come into Saad Sangat of Guru Six, you'll see yourself that they avoid that contact with the other gender unless they need to speak to them. Otherwise, they don't do that. It's for their own pala. It's for our own pala. The Guru keeps on telling us. I know I've gone on a little <laughs> rant here, but for the past few weeks, I've been hearing some crazy stuff and I've been to myself, what is going on in the Panth? Right? We're meant to be talking about, you know, Bring it Chardikla, Raj Kriga, Khalsa, and we're going through all these small problems that become so big in our life. How are we ever going to sort the Pantha if we can't even sort our own home out? 
whether that's our physical home or the, the Sri Rupika, our own body, we we're so caught up in these things. Right? So this is why we have to do satsang, right? And we realize how we should be living our life. And again, this isn't me pointing fingers at anyone. I'm speaking to myself as well. Guru Prasad, the big hai man ki basana man te tare. Even my own mind is so Vishivakar as well. We're all on the same path, but we can help each other and we should be supporting each other as well. And the Guru is saying here, that's only for the Guru's kirpa, for the Guru's blessings, that these things can be removed. Until that moment that somebody wants to get married, just focus on your Sikhi because you're not going to get that chance again. Right? Because afterwards, when we get caught up in marriage and kids and all this stuff, then it's too late. Then it becomes very difficult. Use this time to go your Sikhi. Use this time to get closer to your Guru. And another thing, I know it's already half six, got half an hour left you know, for the first body. What happens a lot today is that we focus so much on bringing people to Sikhi and we're like, Amrit Shako, Amrit Shako, take Amrit, right? Once that person takes Amrit, they disappear. They leave Sangat. And we leave them alone as well. We're like, Jal, they took Amrit, they've, they've done it now. Of course, it's a big blessing, but that's where it starts. If you've just taken Amrit from Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj, Whatever you did to take the Amrit, you should be containing those things even more. What happens today, I see, you see all the time, they leave Sangat, and then one or two years later, they say, I'm struggling. Why are you struggling? Then you listen to their story because you stopped doing Sangat. Just because we've now taken upon a path, it means we continue upon the path. We've not made it at all. We've just entered, we just started. So if we've just been blessed by the Guru, or we're being blessed by the Guru, it doesn't mean that we stop. It means we have to keep on continuing and to continuing. Because one day we will be tested. We all get tested. Even myself. Right? And it's only through keeping these things alive that Guru Kirpaka will get through and through the Guru's blessings will get through it. This is going to give us the strength. In the moment it won't feel like it. They feel the Guru saying it to me, I'm doing it, but why is it not working for? But we've never really been tested. We've never, our patience hasn't been tested. Right? So Binti here to all the Sangat, if you have been blessed by Guru Saji, we're Amrdi Dat. If you walk in the path of Sikhi, whether you're Amrit or not, you can't stop. You have to continue and continue because the world is very strong. The kitsch, the pull of Maya is so strong that somebody can be walking the path and before you know it, they fall over. And it happens to a lot of people. Right? So we have to keep on walking the path. The Guru Sahib Kirpa Karan, they'll protect us and keep us on the straight path as well, Hanji. Indri Jit Panch Dok Te Rahat Indri, Pave Sasing Jiri Jiri Indri Ahan, our different senses that we have. Shabad Shaparish Rupa Rasagand Shabad means our words, Shaparish means to touch, Rup means to see with our eyes, Rasagand, Ras means to taste, Gandhi means to smell. All these things, Guru says Indri Jit, Jit means to defeat, to win over them. Indri Jit, Panch dok te rehat. Panch dok jire panch doshan. Like I just said, the shabda shapara surupa rasaganda. Um, I'll to be caught up in words in India or to the beauty of another person. All these things. That person te rehat. Rehat means to become to renounce these things. They become they're able to remove these things from their life. And these saints that we just that we're speaking about here in this body in this stanza, they have conquered all these things. They are beyond these things. Guru Arjun Dev Ji is saying to us, Sanji. Nanak Kot Madhe Ko Aisa Aparas. So Nanak Kot Madhe Ko Aisa Aparas. Madhe the Arth Hai Vich. So Saar Singh Ji is saying, Koi Karora Vich. Within millions and millions of people, Ko Aisa Aparas. You'll find just one of these kind of people. Both the Vidli Han, they're very rare to find such people. Siddhi Guru Arjun Dev Ji Maji Kathan Kar. Then they're saying to us, they're so rare to find her. Ke paap punna ka, to be beyond the paap at the pun. They are beyond these two things. They are nilepa. They are detached from these two things. Guru Sahib says they are so rare. Ke krora with your sasin, within millions of millions of people, these people are so rare to find Hanji. Basno sojas upra supra san. Then the Guru Sikhs asked Guru Arjun Deji another question. So, Duja Swal ke Maharaji, um, Basno. Basno means somebody who is a uh, Upashik of Vishnu, Vishnu Pave Vahiguruji. So Vishnu Vahiguruji the Upashika, such a Pacha Ji, Una De Lachan Dasdeo, tell us their Lachan, tell us about their qualities. So Maharaji says to us, Hey, Ke Hanji Dwara Paroji, Basno Sojis Upra Sopra San. So, Oho Vahiguruji, the Vahiguruji the Pagat, they are the Pagat, the Upashik, the devotee of Vahiguruji, 
ਬੈਸਨੋ ਸੋ ਜਿਸ ਉਪਰ ਸੋ ਪਰਸਨ ਜਿਸ ਉਤੇ ਵਾਇਗੁਰ ਜੀ ਪਾਲੀ ਪ੍ਰਕਾਰ ਖੁਸ਼ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਨੇ ਔਨ ਦਾ ਪਰਸਨ ਆ ਵਾਇਗ ਜੀ ਬਿਕਮਸ ਹੈਪੀ ਦੇ ਬਿਕਮ ਟੂ ਡਿਵੋਟੀ ਆ ਵਾਇਗੁਰ ਜੀ ਫੁੱਲ ਡਿਵੋਟੀ ਵੈਨ ਵਾਇਗ ਜੀ ਬਿਕਮਸ ਹੈਪੀ ਦ ਵੇ ਟੂ ਮੇਕ ਵਾਇਗ ਡੂ ਹੈਪੀ ਇਸ ਟੂ ਲਿਸਨ ਟੂ ਵਾਇਗ ਡੂ ਆ ਫੋਰ ਦੇ ਹੁਕਮ ਆਫ ਕੋਰਸ ਇਟਸ ਗੋਨ ਟੂ ਟੇਕ ਟਾਈਮ ਬਟ ਜਸਟ ਥਿੰਕ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਦੈਟਸ ਹਾਊ ਸਿੰਪਲ ਸਿੱਖੀਜ਼ ਵਰ ਸੋ ਡਿਫਿਕਲ ਜਸਟ ਮੇਕ ਦ ਗੁਰੂ ਹੈਪੀ ਜਸਟ ਮੇਕ ਦ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਮਾਲ ਜਸਟ ਲਾਈਕ ਵੀ ਨੋ ਹਾਊ ਟੂ ਮੇਕ ਅ ਪੇਰੈਂਟਸ ਹੈਪੀ we worked it out right what we got to do to make them happy just hoover before they get home or wash their bonde right I think martha is looking at our door they are thinking about it, right so just you know you know we know the tactics right same with the guru we know what we need to do but we can't trick the guru that's another thing right we can't trick them and just say why guru why guru say look say why guru why guru you know it doesn't work at like that but the point is that we know what we need to do to make the guru happy it's now about doing it so earn the guru's kushia and they say when somebody does this then they become a true pagat of sachche paasha ji han ji besan ki maya te hoye bhin te us jeev sa sang ji vai guru ji di maya to nirlep rehnda hai nirlep hunda hai they become renounced from maya they become detached from maya that one who is a true pagat who has the guru's khushiya besan ki maya te besan pa vai guru ji di maya to hoye bhin bhin means become vakra nirlep they become detached from maya they know maya we hear maya people say means money maya doesn't have to be money maya is that thing that takes you away from god theek hai maya can be money because a lot of us when we get caught with money then our mind goes somewhere else but it could be our family it could be our friends it could be anything that thing that takes you away from why guru ji is the illusion that is maya but guru sahib ji is saying to us that gurumukh ਤਾ ਵਨ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਟ੍ਰੂ ਡਿਵੋਟੀ ਵਾਇ ਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਦੇ ਆਰ ਨਿਰਲੇਪ ਦੇ ਆਰ ਡਿਟੈਚਡ ਫਰਮ ਮਾਇਆ ਹਾਂ ਜੀ ਕਰਮ ਕਰਤ ਹੋਏ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰਮ ਕਰਮ ਕਰਤ ਚੰਗੇ ਕਰਮ ਕਰਕੇ ਸਾ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਬਾਇ ਡੂਇੰਗ ਗੁੱਡ ਐਕਸ਼ਨਸ ਹੋਵੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰਮ ਨਿਸ਼ਕਾਮ ਉਸ ਜੀਵ ਨਿਸ਼ਕਾਮੀ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਦੇ ਬਿਕਮ ਨਿਸ਼ਕਾਮੀ ਦੇ ਬਿਕਮ ਵਿਦ ਐਨੀ ਡਿਜ਼ਾਇਰਸ ਦੇ ਡੋਨਟ ਡੂ ਸੇਵ ਆ ਵਿਦ ਐਨੀ ਡਿਜ਼ਾਇਰ ਸਮ ਟਾਈਮਸ ਵੈਨ ਯੂ ਸਟਾਰਟ ਫਰਮ ਦਾ ਪਾਫ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਟੋਲਡ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਟੂ ਵਾਚ ਪੰਡੇ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਟੂ ਡੂ ਸੇਵ ਆ ਆ ਵੀ ਥਿੰਕ ਆਈ ਡੋਨਟ ਡੂ ਸੇਵ ਆ ਰਾਈ but sometimes we have to, and they say to you, if you do seva then you get good stuff in return sometimes you start with a desire and then later on we realize actually i love this seva and now i have no desire i just want to do seva i just want to go and do sad sangha di seva i just want to wash the pande i just want to clean the toilets it becomes a desire so sometimes you have to almost start with a desire and then it becomes desireless and these saints they have no desire now karma karta hove nahi karma they doing karam they doing change karam but there's no desire there's no desire for anything return han ji this basno ka nirmal dharm the guru sahib says os basno os jeev os vai guru ji da bhagat they say that ohna da dharm sa sang ji ohna da dharm nirmal hai ohna da dharm nirmal samjho see that dharm their way of living their discipline their duty the way of carrying out their life uh, their rehat is nirmal it's pure it's a pure way of living they ha- when they do these actions they never uh, uh, take upon pap or pun good or bad it's just norm it's just purity in itself there's no karma being earned or burnt they've become one with the guru now there's nothing left they're just serving upon serving and there's no desire in return han ji kahu phal ki ichha nahi baacha and they say hey ke you know when we do seva we have a ichha ichha means desire ke aam do seva so i get this this phal this fruit but they say hey that these people kahu phal ki ichha nahi baach hai they do seva par ohna de vich saas nahi there's no ichha there's no ichha for a for something in return a phal they don't have no desires it's all nishkam it's all nishkami there's no desire there's no want is just to serve itself that's all han ji keval bhagat kirtan sang racha keval saas sang ji keval means only they do this one thing keval bhagat keval vai guru ji di bhakti karde ha ate kirtan sang racha kirtan means um mar ji de gun gauna hai to sing the praise of vai guru ji all the time racha means to be completely absorbed do na that's all they do they serve they do seva and then they all, they do love and devotion they always do pagati they always meditate on god's name and they just sing god's praises such a nice life right such a simple life no bandana no shackles upon them this is all these people do guru arjun they just explain to these gurusikhs 
This is the state. This is the, these are the qualities of a aparasa. Somebody who is not affected by the world. Hanji. Manatana antar simran gopal. They man which saw samaj yate sarir which inside their man, inside their body, man karke, sarir karke, manatana hanji. Manatana antar simran gopal. So within their mind, within their body, gopal the earth hai, prithvi de palak. The one who takes care of this whole world. Gopal. Go the earth hai, srishti, tarti, um, dunya, jagat, this whole world. Pal means palana. Gopal. Right? So, Mantan Antara Simran Gopal, what do they do? They only do Simran, they only remember Vai Guruji. In everything that happens in their life, the first thing they think about is that this is Vai Guruji is doing. Vai Guruji is doing this. Me, there must be something in this that I need to learn. The Guru is blessing me, they give me a gift here. Everything is the Guru Hanji. And now we said earlier, Sarma Pekhe Pagavan, Sarma Devicha, Oho Vai Guruji, they see Vai Guruji in everybody. So here the Guru said to Sab Upar Hovat Kirpal because they see why which in everybody Sab Upar Sarya Utte on Sarya on top of everybody to everybody Hovat Kirpal they are compassionate to everybody because they see why which in everybody and they know themselves that we are stuck in Man Basana Man Basana Ki Vishivika we are stuck in this play we are stuck in these different types of desires that they have compassion upon us so they don't judge us you know, today, when we, if we tell somebody our problems, they'll judge us and say that, look, what's wrong with you? There's something wrong with you. You're not right. But you meet such people who never judge you and they feel compassion for you because they realize that actually, you know what? We don't have control over this mind. We can't control this mind. Unless the Guru does Kirpa, the mind controls us. We don't control the mind. But such beings, they have compassion upon everybody and they want to take away everybody's pain. Such great Guru Muks in this world, Hanji. Aap Drada Avraha Naam Japava. Saw Singh Ji, Aap Drada means here that Aap Unne Vaiv Ji Nana Pani Hirdi Vich Drada Kita Hai. They themselves have resided. God's name inside their heart. Drada means to instill. They've instilled God's name inside their own heart. Peda Aap Drada Avraha Naam Japava. And by instilling God's name inside their heart, Avraha means Hor Nanu. Other people, Avraha Naam Japava. Hor Nanu. Naam Japon they inspire they inspire others to recite God's name. Meaning they take away our duk by joining us to the Guru's name. By joining us to the name of Vai Guruji. How they do that, they know how to do that. I have no idea. But they join us to that name, and then when we recite that name, then all of our ego is taken away. Now Homer, the man, is taken away, is removed because they join us to the Guru's name. They join us to Guru Granth Sahib Ji Maharaj Ji. They say, if you got a problem, come to the Guru and the Guru will take away your pains. In the Shabad by Guru Sahib Ji, they say, Paat Paryo, Arabed Bicharyo, Nivala Pawanga Masado. They say that you may read all these different types of prayers, you may try all these different tactics, but they go, okay, Pancha Jana, Jo Sang, Neh Chutikyo. They said that, but you haven't left the company of the five, of greed, of attachment, all these things. Adhika ham buddha bhadde. They said that you, your, your pride is increasing, the Guru is saying to us. It's not getting less. And they say, Pyare in a bidde milin na jai. Make ye karma neka. Say, oh my beloved Guru Six, in a bidde milin na jai. You're never going to meet God this way. So, how will you meet God? They say, Har pario. Swami ke dwar. They say you have to come to the Guru hard, hard pari. Come and fall in the Guru's feet. Just give up in front of the Guru. And say like, Guru Sahib Ji, you teach me now how to live my life. So it's about sacrifice. Pehla marna kabool, jeevan ki chhat aasa, poho sabna ki renaka to aav humare paas. They say that you have to first give up, you have to kill this ego, kill this mepana, this idea of me, of I. Just give it all to the Guru. And sometimes that requires us to walk on a very difficult path of pain. And then the Guru allows us to remove that ego inside us. And then we can get closer to the Guru. So Guru Arjun Deji Maharaj has made it very clear to us here that Aap Dirare, they themselves and still goes them inside the heart. Aap Dirare, Naam Jepave Hanji. Nanak Oho Vaisano Parmagat Pave. And they say, Oho Vaisano Osa Vai Guru Ji Da Pagat Saad Singha Ji Parmagat Pave. They themselves reach the highest state. Paramagati, Kaval Mukti, 
ਜੋ ਜਲ ਮਹਿ ਜਲ ਆਇ ਖਟਾ ਨਾ ਤੋ ਜੋਤੀ ਸੰਗ ਜੋਤਸ ਮਨ ਮੀਨ ਦੇ ਬਿਕਮ ਵਨ ਵਿਦ ਗੋਡ ਜਸ ਲਾਈਕ ਹਾਊ ਵਾਟਰ ਬਿਕਮਸ ਵਨ ਵਿਦ ਵਾਟਰ ਲਾਈਟ ਬਿਕਮਸ ਵਨ ਵਿਦ ਲਾਈਟ ਸੋ ਨੈਚੁਰਲੀ ਦਾ ਪਰਸ ਬਿਕਮਸ ਵਨ ਵਿਦ ਗੋਡ ਸੋ ਨੈਚੁਰਲੀ ਐਸ ਵੈਲ ਹਾਂਜੀ ਭਗਵਤੀ ਭਗਵੰਤ ਭਗਤ ਕਾ ਰੰਗ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਅਰਜਨ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਜੀ ਸਿੱਖ ਹਿੰਦੇ ਅਨ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਿੱਖ ਆਸ ਥੈਮ ਹੂ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਟ੍ਰੂ ਭਗਵਤੀ ਭਗਵਤੀ ਦਾ ਲੱਛਣ ਸੋ ਭਗਵਤੀ ਹੈ ਸਾ ਸੰਗ ਜੀ ਮੀਨਸ ਵਾਈ ਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਦਾ ਪਾਸ਼ਿਕ ਸੋ ਵੈਰੀ ਸਿਮਿਲਰ ਟੂ ਵੈਸ਼ਨੋਜ਼ ਆਲ ਇਸ ਟੋਕਿੰਗ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਦਿਸ ਵੈਰੀ ਸਿਮਿਲਰ ਟੌਪਿਕ ਸੋ ਹੂ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਟ੍ਰੂ ਡਿਵੋਟੀ ਆਫ ਵਾਈ ਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਐਂਡ ਗੁਰੂ ਅਰਜਨ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ ਟੈਲਸ ਭਗਵਤੀ ਦਾ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਟ੍ਰੂ ਅ ਪਾਸ਼ਿਕ ਅ ਟ੍ਰੂ ਡਿਵੋਟੀ ਆਫ ਵਾਈ ਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਭਗਵੰਤ ਭਗਤ ਕਾ ਰੰਗ ਜਿਸ ਨੂੰ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਦੀ ਭਗਤੀ ਦਾ ਰੰਗ ਚੜਿਆ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਦਾ ਵਨ ਹੂ ਹੈਜ਼ ਅ ਲਵ ਆਫ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਦਾ ਦਾ ਰੰਗ ਦਾ ਕਲਰ ਆਫ ਲਵ ਆਫ ਦਾ ਗੁਰੂ ਸੋ ਭਗਤੀ ਦਾ ਰੰਗ ਦਾ ਕਲਰ ਆਫ ਦਾ ਭਗਤੀ ਦਾ ਲਵ ਆਫ ਭਗਤੀ ਉਸ ਰੰਗ ਸਾਸ ਜੀ ਚੜਿਆ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਦਾ ਲਵ ਇਜ਼ ਕੰਪਲੀਟਲੀ ਬਿਊਡ ਔਨ ਦੇ ਫੇਸ ਇਸ ਐ ਸੋਇ ਸੁਨੰਦਰੀ ਮੇਰਾ ਤਨ ਮਨ ਮੌਲਾ ਨਾਮ ਜ ਪੰਦਰੀ ਲਾਲੀ ਪੰਦ ਜੁਲੰਦਰੀ ਮੇਰਾ ਅੰਦਰ ਠੰਡਾ ਗੁਰ ਦਰਸਨ ਦੇਖ ਨ ਹਾਲੀ soy sunandri by listen to the guru soba the guru's praise praise is soy sunandri mera man tan they said that my man tan becomes molya becomes haryavar by listen to the guru's praise i become rejuvenated and become alive again just by listening to their praises by, by walking upon their path they say that under again this sitata this coolness naam japandri lali naam japan karke lali they say this lolly this color or this crimson color this red color of love appears on their face you may have seen it sometimes we see a guru sikh uh, a sikh of the guru and their face is just red then they they call it in the love of the guru these are such beings the guru is talking about hai pagauti bhagwant pagat ka ranga haan ji sagal diya ka dusht ka sang de dusht sare dusht sa sang ji unan nu tyag karke sagal tyag hai they have given them all up dost ka sang ona di sangat they don't associate with the five thieves they have removed them from their lives they don't associate with them han ji man te banasa sagla bharm te jede panch prakar panch prakar de bharm han sa sang ji the five different types of bharm that we have bharm means doubt five types ped bharm kartat bharm sang bharm vikar bharm ate satatya bharm panch prakar de bharm five types of different dots we have inside us pehla hai sa singh ji ped param ped param means that we think that we are separate from vai guru ji we think we are this body is separate from vai guru ji pehla prakar the first type we think that we are separate from god dusra sa singh ji is kartat param we think that this we think that we are god but when we think that we think this body is god this body is not god this body is going to become mitti the atma is paramatma so that's the second type the, the third one ped parama kartat parama fer sang parama sang parama is when we think that i am the body mai sarir ha this is a parama as well we are not the city fer chautha sa sang ji vikar parama vikar parama is when we think that god is separate from the world but god is a part of the world as well that is the fourth type of down the last one is satatya parama which is we say that god is the truth so the whole world must be the truth as well that's another type of doubt so all these different types of param doubts that we have inside us the guru says they all removed and we realize that we're not this mind we're not this body we're not these senses we're not these eyes we're not these ears we're not this thinking process like if we had two options in our mind of going left and right even that four of i'm going to go this way we're not even that as well why are we not that because that can lead us on a path of duk but the atma has no duk the soul has no duk the atma is an andasrup it's always in bliss so we can't be that as well so what are we we have to realize and the guru takes away all those layers that's what the guru has come to do the guru hasn't come to give us something new there's nothing new to give it's always been there all the such it's there from the start it's just we forgotten so the guru has come to pause back on the path then he kalamo ਤਰਮ ਚਲਾਇਓ ਸਭ ਸਾਧਨ ਕੋ ਰਾਹ ਬਤਾਇਓ ਗੁਰੂ ਗੋਬਿੰਦ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਸੈਟ ਟੂ ਅਸ ਅਗ ਗੁਰ ਨਾਨ ਦਿਜ ਕੇਮ ਇਸ ਅਰਥ ਟੂ ਪੁਟ ਐਵਰੀਬੋਡੀ ਬੈਕ ਔਨ ਦਾ ਪਾਥ ਸਭ ਸਾਧਨ ਕੋ ਰਾਹ ਬਤਾਇਓ ਦੇ ਕੇਮ ਟੂ ਪੁਟ ਅਸ ਬੈਕ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਪਾਥ ਆਫ ਟਰੂਥ ਸਚ ਦਾ ਮਾਰੇ ਵੀ ਜਸਟ ਫਰਗੋਟ ਦਾ ਪਾਥ ਆਫ ਟਰੂਥ ਐਂਡ ਦਾ ਗੁਰੂ ਹਸ ਕਮ ਟੂ ਪਾਸ ਬੈਕ ਔਨ ਦਾ ਪਾ
kar puja sagal par brahm so they give up all of these param inside them sasi all these das and all they do is puja puja of par brahm they only they just worship vai guru ji if people ask you do seeks to puja seeks to puja of vai guru ji they worship vai guru ji how do you worship them we matha take to them guru par karma guru chor sadhi seva read gurbani we think about them all the time not one hour a day two hours a day athe pe jo we can do saas garas every single breath every single time we eat something that is the vast the guru wants us to get to it's not that some it's not all oh, why is god want that for doesn't go get tired isn't god selfish right god wants us to think about them all the time when we say that we look at god as separate from us but if we realize that we are that that light is inside us and that is a true for my happiness then we realize that actually if I, if you want to be happy all the time then this is a state the guru this is a state the guru is saying that you can be happy all the time han ji sad sang papa mal khova e sresh janadi sangat karke by doing sad sangat all the time sad sang han ji dwara par ji papa mal khove we say that all that pop papa rupi mel So we say that we're mela, we're dirty. We have dirt inside us. It's of sin, and they say by doing sad sang, by sitting in the guru's company, by sitting here listening to katha kirtan and connecting, it says sad sang papa mal khove. Khove means to be destroyed. All that mel is taken away. All that mel is removed. by doing sad sangat han ji tes pagauti ki mat utam hove the guru says is os pagauti os vai guru ji da upashak the buddhi sab to uttam hai their buddhi their intellect their mind their soch their actions on their karma sa sang ji they the highest of the high they the purest of the pure they sab to sab te sucha te sab te uccha han ji bhagavant ki tahal kar nit neet te nit nit prati sa sang ji har roz har vele bhagavant ki tahal they do vai guru ji se seva prabhu parmeshwar vai guru ji di seva karde han o the time nit prati han ji man tan arpa bisan parit te apna man tan te own mind their body arpa bisan parit to meet vai guru ji vai guru ji di prapti vaasthe to me vai guru ji the love for vai guru ji us prem de vich saas sang ji in love for vai guru ji ad pa they give up their own body they give up their own mind tan man tan sab saap guru ko sab ko saam deta vai guru ji no they given everything to vai guru ji there's nothing left to them everything has been sacrificed to the guru everything there's nothing left now there's only the guru and that is how they live their life in complete bliss from the start to the end ad ant jo rakhna har teso preet na kare gawa he said that one always protects you from ad to ant ad ant jo rakhar har teso preet na kare gawa but he said the gawar he means the fool doesn't love them back doesn't realize that they are the one that gives him all the sukh teso preet na kare gawar han ji har ke charan hriday basave and he says sa singh ji har ke charan vai guru ji de charan the beef of fee of vai guru ji charan also means naam chit charan naam gurbani so if you want to know if you think today how can i see the guru's charan how can i see the guru's feet the guru's charan is gurbani just like we say ang we don't say guru sahib ji has pages we say ang so 1430 ang 1430 angs of guru gan sahib ji we don't say pages so ang means limb So the limb can be your leg, your foot. So the charn, the feet of the guru is Guru Granth Sahib Ji Maharaj Ji's body. Chitta charna naam, Jab Sahib Ji's body. Which so Guru Sahib Ji here is saying to us that hard ke charn hir de bisave. They always reside have God's feet. They charn inside their heart. Mean they always have Guru Bani inside their heart. They always reside in Guru Bani. If you read the the diary of Sant Baba Ishar Singh Ji Maharaj. Rada sa wale ma purush se to us rada sa wale ma purush se to us ke when we start to meditate then even in your heart you can meditate upon God's name you can start saying God's name from your heart if we say God's name with our tongue it has one fall one fruit we say from your throat it has ten and from our heart it has a hundred times the fall fruit so if we say God from our heart that name if we meditate upon the name from our heart. The amount of fruits we gain from saying that is a hundred times what you get from, gain from saying it from your own tongue, right? But meditating upon the name inside our heart, Hanji. 
ਨਾਨਕ ਐਸਾ ਭਗਵਤੀ ਭਗਵੰਤ ਕਉ ਪਾਵੇ ਸੋ ਗੁਰੂ ਅਰਜਨ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ ਮਾਜੀ ਕਥਨ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਨ ਕਿ ਐਸਾ ਭਗਵਤੀ ਦਿਸ ਦਾ ਪਰਸਨ ਮੀਟਸ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਭਗਵੰਤ ਕਉ ਪਾਵੇ ਉਸ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਨੂੰ ਪਾ ਸਕਦਾ ਹੈ ਦੇਖ ਮੀ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਇਫ ਦੇ ਫੋਲ ਦਿਸ ਪਾਫ ਵਿਦ ਯੂ ਸਚ ਐਕਸ਼ਨਸ ਦੈਟ ਵੀ ਜਸ ਸਪੋਕ ਅਬਾਉਟ ਦੇਖ ਮੀ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਅਜਵਲ ਹਾਂ ਜੀ ਸੋ ਪੰਡਿਤ ਜੋ ਮਨ ਪ੍ਰਬੋਧ ਹੈ ਫੇ ਗੁਰੂ ਅਰਜਨ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ ਮਾਰੀ ਸੈਸ ਤਵਾਸ ਦੇ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਿਕਸ ਆਸਕ ਹੂ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਟ੍ਰੂ ਪੰਡਿਤ who is a true vidwan who is a true scholar right and guru sahib says so pandit jo man par bodh hai oh pandit hai that is a true oh asal pandit hai true pandit hai jo man par bodh hai jo apne aap nu they themselves their own mind they teach their own mind they give their own mind sikhya they don't do the whole avrupadesh aap na kare they don't give our people teachings that they haven't given to their own self so they they speak to their own mind and they samjha to their own mind explain to our mind how you got to live that is a true vidwan that is a true pandit han ji ram naam atma mah soda ram naam sa sang ji ram vai guru ji de naam ram na atma mah soda atma means apne man vich so atma doesn't just always mean atma it can mean mind as well atma atma mah soda soda means khojna to find to search they search for god's name inside their heart as well bande khoj dil har roz ke every single day they search for god's name inside their heart and they think about the actions that they've done and they think how can i live a better life the next day so in sikhi in gurbani the guru tells us to reflect upon our day as well to say bande means all beings khoj dil har roz every single day search inside your heart search yourself search inside and think what have i done good today what have i done bad reflect upon your actions han ji ram naam sar ras piwa again ram naam vai guru ji de naam sar ras piwa sar means the essence tat ras piwa drink the amrit naam drink the ras of amrit naam inside your heart inside take upon that bliss just like when we drink the world the the different nasha of the world and somebody becomes intoxicated in wines and the different alcohols of the world the guru say you don't need such a nasha take the nasha of naam take the drug of naam take this drug inside you and you get such a high there's not equal to any other high the high of naam itself han ji us pandit ka updesh jag jeeva us pandit de updesh tarn kar ke ba follow the updesh of those great guru sikhs of those that have controlled their own mind and they say um man par jag jeeva they say that those people those people of this world jagat jire duniya de lok han saas singh ji jeeva they become jeevan mukt they become liberated as well by following their teachings because they themselves have applied those teachings in their life they become one with those teachings they become one with that one vai guru ji so when they give a teaching if we follow that teaching then we become mukt as well this ki seek her tere sansar comes in siri sukhmi sahib as well this ki seek one of the sikhya rahi this ki seek tere sansar everybody is saved everybody is carried across and again the guru says the same thing here ke one of the updesh tarn karke jag jeeve ਸਾਰੇ ਦੁਨੀਆ ਦੇ ਲੋਕ ਮੁਕਤ ਹੋ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਆ ਜੀਵਨ ਜੀਵਨ ਮੁਕਤ ਹੋ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਹਨ ਹਾਂ ਜੀ ਹਰ ਕੀ ਕਥਾ ਹਿਰਦੈ ਬਸਾਵੇ ਤੇ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਦੀ ਕਥਾ ਦੇ ਕਥਾ ਉਹ ਵਾਹਿਗ ਜੀ ਦੀ ਸਕੋਸ ਉਹ ਵਾਹਿਗ ਜੀ ਹਿਰਦੈ ਬਸਾਵੇ ਵੈਨ ਦੇ ਲਿਸਨ ਟੂ ਕਥਾ ਦੇ ਟੇਕ ਦਾ ਕਥਾ ਐਂਡ ਪੁਟ ਇਨ ਦੇ ਹਾਰਟ ਐਂਡ ਦੇ ਗੋ ਹੋਮ ਇਟ ਡਸ ਇਟਸ ਨਾਟ ਲਾਈਕ ਓਕੇ ਆ ਲਿਸਨ ਟੂ ਕਥਾ ਗੋ ਹੋਮ ਨੈਟਫਲਿਕਸ ਜੌਬ ਡਨ ਦੇ ਅਪਲਾਈ ਦਾ ਕਥਾ ਇਨ ਟੂ ਦੇ ਲਾਈਫ ਦਾ ਕਥਾ ਬਿਕਮਸ ਦੇ ਲਾਈਫ they take one teaching if you took if we just took one teaching that the guru gives to us if we took one letter and reside and took that inside our heart we become mukt ek akhar har man bast nanak hote na hal han ji so pandit phir jon na aave the guru said is os pandit mud ke juna vich ni aunda hai that person never comes back again in this trasi lakh jun mud ke means again they never come back again in this jun cycle juna vich ni aunda hai that person who follows the teachings of satguru ji maharaj han ji ved puran simrit bhujay mool so char ved puran simriti satay simriti all these different grants uh, bhujay mool mool means the essence tat mood the essence of all these different grants that people read for so many years they say such a being who follows the teachings of guru granth sahib ji who does naam simran they understand everything themselves anyway so just like sant gan guru bachan singh ji a great mahapurush from the last century they say santaji would sit under a tree and meditate and one day for all that meditation all these letters started to appear in front of them what does that mean that all the gyan from all these different grants this knowledge from all these scriptures that people would read 
is all already inside us. It's inside us already. So what happens is that when they're doing all this meditation, it all came out of them. There's a broke gyan and there's broke gyan. One type of gyan we get from the outside, knowledge, but there's another type of gyan that we get from the inside. And that's through meditation, it all just happens, it all becomes part of it. Because there's nothing greater, there's no stronger mantra than saying God's name. Everything can be gained for just by saying God's name. And they go to such a state where they didn't need to read anything, it was all coming from inside them. It was even Guru Granth Sahib Ji Maharaj, when they do Katha of Guru Granth Sahib Ji Maharaj, they'd be doing Arth of Guru Granth Sahib Ji, translating Guru Granth Sahib Ji in such a way that they didn't have to read certain books or sticks. It was coming from inside them. They got to such a state just through doing this Hanji. Sukha Maha Jana Asatu. Sukha Maha. Sukha means those things that we cannot see. Like the air, for example. We can't see the air. We can just feel it. Sukha Maha Jana Asatu. Even in those things that we can't see, they can see Vaigaji in those things as well. Even in certain situations in our life where it's a situation, you can't see a situation, you experience it. But in those situations, they can see Vaigaji. They can understand these things. They've got to such a state, Hanji. They give their teachings to everybody. They don't discriminate. They give their sikhya to every single being, Hanji. I always do namaskar to them, always fall in their feet. That's how we should live our lives, that we are sacrificed to those great Guru Sikhs, those ones themselves who are Pajapahe, Avreh Naam Japave. They themselves have recited God's name, they've conquered their own mind, Manajit, Jagajit, and they've conquered the whole world. Guru Sabri says to us, Ke Os Pandit Ke, and they say, Os Nanak Os Pandit Ko, Sada Ades, I do namaskar to that Pandit, to that one who's conquered their own mind and helps us to conquer our mind as well. So we come to the end of this uh, Gatha Vicharan Siri Sukhuni Sahib, the ninth Ashtapadi uh, and the first Chaur Paudiya. So many, many mistakes. Please, please forgive all the mistakes made. If I've offended anyone, then I'll ask for forgiveness, especially when I went on my little rant early as well. I didn't mean to offend anyone. Again, this isn't me judging anyone. I'm in the same boat as you guys. It's just sharing the Obadesh of what I've seen in my life and what I've experienced around me as well that we don't fall into this andukup, this deep well of pain. And that's all it is. It's a deep well of pain. So let's save ourselves and let's save whoever we can. And the Guru Sahib will save us all uh, from this as well. So in your bhenti parvan karnya, do pankti parke. Let's read the last two lines of this body. Phir asi samapti karunge haan ji. Chaho varna mahe japa updes. Chaho varna kao de updes. Nanak uspandit kao sada ades. हे गोविंद हे गोपाल हे दयाल लाल प्राणनाथ अनाथ सके दीन दर्द निवार हे समरथ अगम पूरन मोहे मया तार अंध कूप महापयान नानक पार उतार आए प्रभ शरणागति कृपा निध दयाल एक अखर हर मन बस्त नानक होत निहाल वाहे गुरु नाम जहाज है चढ़े सोतरे पार जो सरदा कर सेव दे गुरु पार उतार नहार जो सरदा कर सेव दे गुरु पार उतार नहार वाहे जी का खालसा वाहे गुरु जी की फतेह If you enjoyed this video please like comment share and subscribe please donate and help spread Guru ji's message link is in the description below Wahe Guru ji ka khalsa Wahe Guru ji ki fateh Wahe Guru